And so it's a kind of, yeah, it's this misconception that it's, it's not right for small businesses and also it's expensive and people think, oh, well, I'll go and do all this free stuff. Um, social media, search engine optimization, which are both really powerful tools, but Every single business I've ever started, I've always started off building it off the back of paid search. My first business, Raised Bakery, that was all built off the back of paid search. My coaching business, 90% of my leads come through paid search. I don't have to do anything. I'm sitting here talking to you and people are looking at my website and sending me messages. So I think that's the biggest misconception that it's not going to work for them. That said, you and I'm trying not to plug myself too much, but you do need to go and get help. And I know that's coming from an expert, but you really do because in the same reason why you don't or shouldn't be doing your finances for yourself, um, you go get an accountant. An accountant costs money, but they save you money long-term. This is so true for paid search, particularly for Google, that it will save you money in the long-term. And I think people should really consider it as part of their marketing mix. And I don't think many people do. For a business that's, let's say they're doing 500,000 a year as it stands already, right? Maybe they're already grown to a certain extent. What would you recommend to them would be a starting point if they've gotten that far without paid media and they're doing that on, you know, uh, word of mouth organic and, and what have you, what's the, what's a ratio for budget spend on paid media in your view to get started? If they're doing 500 K a year, yeah. I mean, I've, well, this is the thing. So I've got businesses that are that I work with that are doing uh, multi-million pound businesses and they're spending a few thousand pounds a month on paid search. Um, and then I've got small businesses that are probably spending, you know, 50% of what they're already. So I think it's about your appetite for growth. Um, it very much depends on the business. I primarily work with B2B clients. I do do some B2C. I have avoid e-com because it's a very specific discipline within that world. Um, and so it's my, 